What's going on, F3 fam? Today, we are coming at you guys with the Turkish Get Up series. What we're going to be doing here is breaking down the Turkish Get Up in seven different steps. So that way, you can work on whatever step or progression you need to at your level of movement right where you're at. Step one is going to be the press or the crunch actually, step two is the press. So how you begin the Turkish get up is you're going to have one leg out straight, one leg is gonna be bent. And then the arm of the same side as the bent leg is going to be reaching up the entire time. With this crunch, all we're doing is just rolling up to the elbow and now we move into step two which is the press. We're actually pressing through our hand and getting full extension in the arm. You'll see me switch sides here to show you what it looks like as I reach up on the left side. As you do this throughout the full movement, make sure you're driving through that left leg or whatever grounded leg actually is there, but right now it's my left leg, the entire time. Try to keep that heel of the straight leg on the ground as well too to be able to get as much possible power as possible as much possible power as possible that doesn't make sense but now we'll move on to step three which is the bridge where we're going to get full extension in our hips and drive them up to the sky just like so this is a great movement even by itself um, a turkish get up bridge is phenomenal to be able to build that hip strength and be a nice progression from a crab press or from a uh, glute bridge and as we move on into the next step, we are going to sweep the leg, okay? So we are going to sweep the leg behind us into a lunge position. Take your time on this as this is the most complicated part of the entire movement. All we're going to be doing is just reaching that back foot back, tucking the toes, keeping them in a flexed position, and landing in that lunge just like so. Then step five is going to be to gain that lunge position, to dominate that lunge position and take the grounded hand that we've been pushing off of this whole time into the air and have all of our weight rest just on our legs in that lunge position. As you guys are doing this too, one helpful tip is that straight leg on the ground does not have to be perfectly straight. You can actually keep that leg just slightly bent the entire time. Now you'll see we're on step number six, which is to stand up from that lunge position. To stand up from that lunge position. All right, so as we stand up in that lunge position, we are keeping our core tight. The entire time we're doing this Turkish get up, we are breathing and bracing in between every single step to make sure that we are creating a solid fluid movement and then as we get to step seven we match the feet together we bring the feet together and as you go through this full movement you're going to also want to then go ahead and reverse all seven steps or however many steps you are at right now reverse it all the way down in the same order so going from seven to six to five to four to three to two and one and then that zero step would just be being on the ground what you can go ahead and do as well is add weight to this movement to be able to progress it you can i've seen people go all the way up to an entire human body with this about 100 150 pounds uh, you can also just start off with something like 7 10 pounds to begin with this is a great way to get an amazing movement and make it even more amazing. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy those get ups.